Hi everyone, today we have a quick flip through video of my full painting sketchbook. I've used this for almost three years, so it took me quite a while to completely fill it, but I could finally do it. Before we get started, just a few words about the sketchbook itself. So this is by Strathmore and it's their 400 series watercolor sketchbook in the landscape version. It has 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper, which is very good option for any kinds of watercolor paintings. And it has 48 pages, which means 24 spreads, but actually every other spread in this sketchbook has the backside of the watercolor paper which is not nearly as good as the real side, so I'll keep that in mind. I was a little bit surprised when I got my hands on this. I actually ended up using most of the wrong side pages for gouache paintings and then left the better side for watercolors, which work very well for me since I like to paint with both, but I think there might be better sketchbook options out there for purely watercolor use. But that's that, and now let's open this up. You can see from the first page here that this was supposed to be my art journal for 2020. So that didn't quite happen. So the first few pages have a certain theme because I wanted to use this sketchbook to learn some new methods and almost use it to catalog my learning experience painting different subjects. So at the start, we have some watercolor swatches of my old watercolor palette and some wash practices. And then we move on to a few themes like architecture, painting water and flower drawings. However, around this time, I started to film consistent painting tutorials here on YouTube and on my Patreon. So the purpose of this journal switched to a regular sketchbook for me to use for all those paintings and other stuff I was filming for social media or just practice use. I'll leave a link to my tutorial playlist in the description in case some of these catch your eye and you want to try out something similar yourself. I still think that the art journal idea is very good if you want to improve overall and really learn to paint different subjects on your own. But in the end, I'm a very learn as I go type of person. So I feel like just painting regularly did the same thing for me and also made it easier to just open this journal and get started without a plan. I had painted with watercolors a little bit before I started this journal, but gouache was a completely new medium for me. So you'll also see my whole gouache learning journey in this sketchbook. I used to paint very consistently, maybe around one and a half years ago. And I can personally see here how I got more confident around that time. I'm painting a little bit less nowadays because I spend more time creating products for my shop, which are mostly drawn digitally. And I do feel like especially the confidence starts to disappear if you don't paint on paper consistently. I look at some of these paintings thinking, how could I do that? And feeling like I've struggled to create something similar now, but I don't know if that's actually true or if I just lack consistent practice. There are also some random empty pages in the middle and some unfinished paintings, which I could have probably used for something, but I always struggle to break the timeline in a sketchbook like this by going back and creating a new painting just somewhere in the middle. Let me know if you're the same way or if you would have filled those empty pages with something. But anyway, I also really enjoyed the size of this sketchbook because I felt like it was perfect for either two small paintings per page or for one bigger vertical painting that I seem to do much more than horizontal ones. The size is still small enough that creating one painting per page doesn't feel intimidating. There is enough space for some details or bigger objects, but you also don't have this huge empty canvas to fill with something. So I definitely think that it's a great sketchbook option for beginners or if you're looking to do some quick painting practices that won't require too much time. I thought that the perfect way to end this sketchbook was by swatching my new watercolor palette in it so we could come full circle from the first swatch page and I could also test this out on a familiar paper to really compare the colors. 
I have already started a new sketchbook which is a little bit bigger. This is the B5 size vertical watercolor journal by Etcher Labs and I must say that I almost miss the landscape size a little bit. I feel like it stayed open a little bit better and the smaller size felt a little bit friendlier but I'm still excited to fill this one up and do a new flip through video probably in like two years so please don't have your hopes up <laughs> anyway I really hope you enjoyed this quick tour of my painting sketchbook and hopefully got some new ideas to paint and if this was your first time around here and you'd like to stay tuned for some more art and journaling stuff, please consider subscribing. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.